Let's write the balanced equation for zinc plus sodium hydroxide. And we end up with what's called zincate, sodium zincate, and then we have hydrogen. If you write the states for these, look like this. Your zinc would be a solid. I'm expecting you'd have aqueous sodium hydroxide, zincate, that's aqueous, that's soluble, and then you'd have hydrogen gas. So let's balance the equation. We have one zinc, one sodium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen. Product side, we have zinc, we have the one here. We have two sodium atoms, two oxygens, and two hydrogen atoms. It looks like we put a two here in front of the sodium hydroxide, one times two, that would give us two of those, one times two, we get two oxygens, and then the hydrogen, one times two, two of those. And then for the zinc, we have one zinc on each side, so that's good too. So this is the balanced equation. Zinc is what we call an amphoteric metal. It'll react with a base like sodium hydroxide, but it'll also react with an acid like hydrochloric acid. So we say it's amphoteric, it can react with bases or acids. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for zinc plus sodium hydroxide, Zn plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.